Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about the hotly debated topic of tipping and your rideshare driver. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. So to start, did you actually know that tipping is an American culture thing? If you do a little research, you'll see that tipping actually originated in the States, and that it's not exactly common in other parts of the world. So that should be your first clue that if you don't get a tip, don't necessarily assume that the person is cheap or entitled. They simply just might not be accustomed to it. In Asian countries, tipping is actually considered rude or offensive depending on which country. So I just want to give you my two cents on tipping. First, don't expect a tip from anyone, even if you're top notch at the customer service game. You put their bags in the back for an airport run, help with groceries, give things out like water and candy. Those are all nice customer service gestures that could compel the passenger to tip, but passengers aren't obligated to tip you. And you'll have cheap and entitled passengers that'll make the ride all bad which to you feels like they made it so bad that they should tip you. But for those types of rides, blow it off and or contact Lyft if they violated the TOS. Your role is to provide a safe, clean ride and a little customer service wouldn't hurt either. Many people will debate that rideshare driving is like being a waiter and you survive on tips. That argument is a bit weak though because waiters get paid between two and three dollars hourly. They literally make minimum wage or more based on the tips that they get. Being a rideshare driver, you're an independent contractor. You chose this for yourself, and you have all the flexibility in the world to drive when you want and for how long you want. You'll also hear that many people think that rideshare driving isn't a service industry type job where tips are customary. Your job is to drive people around, and you get paid for it. End of story. Again, another reason why you shouldn't expect a tip. Of course, we all know we don't get paid very much, so you could inform the passenger about tipping if it comes up in a conversation. But I wouldn't try and guilt trip the passenger into giving you a tip because you don't get paid that much. Again, you signed up for this, so it's really on you. And you can quit whenever you want if you don't like it. I think tipping is largely based on the individual that you get and their view of rideshare driving. I think that'll ultimately determine if you get a tip or not. I've had rides where I put in a little extra customer service and didn't get a tip. And I've had rides where I said hi and bye and got a tip. So I think this really is a culture thing and what the passenger believes. In the end, I don't think you should expect a tip. View them as a bonus and a nice to have. What's your stance on tips? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.